Hey, what's up guys? Pokesum here in this video. I have something a little different from usual. I have uh, some AEW trading cards. The first ever AEW set. Um, I'm a wrestling fan and uh, I just had to pick some of these up. Uh, here's the info on all the all the crazy stuff you could possibly pull, which I'm sure I won't pull anything too crazy. But, uh, yeah, there's the info and everything you can pull and the, the pull rates on them. Um, had to spend a, a pretty penny on this. Um, but I'm excited for it. Hopefully I'll pull at least one memorabilia or autograph card and hopefully it won't be a lousy one. <laughs> so I should probably keep this sealed because it <laughs> could really be worth some money one day. But what's the fun in that? Let's get into it. Um, as you can see, 16 packs in this hobby box. I, I don't know if it's because I normally open Pokemon cards or what, but I, for some reason when I bought this, I thought there were 36 packs in this. And then I got it, and I'm like, uh, that's really thin. you know. It, and then I saw 16 packs, and I was like, what? No, that can't be right. And I got on the site, and yeah, it's right. 16 packs in a hobby box. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you I paid $190 for this um, on sale from the site. Which actually the price still hasn't gone back up because not a whole lot of them sold at that price. But that's about what they go for. Uh, close to 200 so. For a hobby box. <coughs> they actually had these blaster boxes with eight packs for $45, but truthfully, looking back, if I'd have known that, I might have gone that way instead of this way, but, so I would have ended up getting more packs, you know, you could have got eight packs for, or 16 packs for $90 that way, um, so I basically could have got twice the packs, but I, th I think there's probably some I don't know but I, I think the hobby packs you can get something that you can't that you don't normally get in the other packs maybe I don't know could be completely wrong but let's get into it our first AEW pack here uh I assume you're probably not going to watch this video unless you're an AEW fan and you're interested in maybe picking up some of these. Good luck finding them at retail. Um, I mean, in a big retail establishment, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you are, let me let me know. Are you? How how could I? Did you know some of the wrestlers from AEW beforehand? Who's your favorite wrestler? Let me know all that cool stuff. Um, okay, is there a card? No, there's probably not a card trick to to normal cards. Okay, let's just get into it. <laughs> uh, Ty Conti, The Dark Order, which... Uh, mm. Really, really being underutilized, in my opinion. Um, you know, the, they're the first, when AEW first started, I th uh, they were used pretty well, but gosh. Mm. Anyway, just one of my many areas that I think could be worked on. Oh, this is first edition. Hmm. Don't know if that makes them worth any more or not. And there's the butcher. In AEW magazine, Nick Jackson's hunt for tag team gold in AEW. Oh wow, that next one is cool. A Chris Jericho, AEW magazine. What do you call it? <laughs> what would you even call this? Um, it's a parallel. Oh gosh, it's gonna take me forever to find this stuff on here. 
There's so many inserts. Um, <laughs> I, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna keep opening it. I, I It's probably not all that rare. It is a parallel, and it's of Chris Jericho, so that's awesome. But, I mean, it's probably not like it's super-de-duper valuable. It's not numbered, so... But very cool, nonetheless. Um, I need to sleeve that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm going to sleeve that. Just in case. Just in case it's worth a little bit. All right, we have Top Rope, Riho, which... Top Rope 4. I don't think Top Rope is all that hard to find. Um, what should I do with this? I'm just going to leave. Well, I'll put it here for now. I don't know. Okay, there's Billy Gunn and QT Marshall. Uh, top Rope should be easy enough to find on here. Top Rope, Top Rope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what? No, top rope is not that easy to find. My gosh, there's so many. Oh, there's... What? Top rope? Oh, silver insert parallel. Gold base it. Gold base it parallel. Yeah, at a certain point... This just becomes a little confusing. Like top rope one in 54, but that's just for a silver insert parallel of top rope, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I have no clue. <clears throat> That's just the way it is with, with, with trading cards now. So many inserts. Um, I'll just put Nick Jackson up there for now. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I wonder if I should take two from the back. <clears throat> we'll go through this second pack, and, and yeah, I know this is going slow, but... We'll go through this second pack, and if it's a similar structure, I'll start taking two from the back and put them in the front. Okay, we have Christopher Daniels. Old Man Daniels. Gotta love Christopher Daniels. We have something that's turned backwards. Oh, we have some kind of special insert here. Oh, ho, ho. <clears throat> oh boy. All right, we have a memorabilia card here, and it is numbered to 25, and this is one out of 25. Holy crap, this is pretty cool. This is pretty dang cool. Dax and Cash FTR, one of the best tag teams in the world. This having been worn by the featured wrestlers. Very nice. Very, very nice. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Um, I don't think the sleeve is big enough for this. And I really don't want to... Or is it? Will it fit? No, this is not going to fit in here, I don't believe. So what in the blue heck? I mean, I can put it in a top loader. But is there a point of trying to... I mean, what's the point of putting it in a top loader without a sleeve? Um, yeah, I don't want to damage this. So, hmm. 
Will it fit in one of these sleeves, perhaps? Let's try these. <laughs> yeah, it'll fit in this one. Okay. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the top loader. Yes, indeedy. Well, if it'll fit, I forgot this is... No, this is too thick for a top loader. For a normal top loader. Oh, I remember that. I think I have... Some kind of other top loader somewhere. Okay, let's let's just go through the rest of the pack. Um, main features. MJF. Oh, this is number two. 51 out of 199. Okay. This is this is awesome. <laughs> An MJF. There's another main features. Santana, but it's not numbered. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, main features. Santana, not numbered though. And there's Justin Roberts. Oh my goodness. Um... Oh my gosh, 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes in, I've opened two packs. Main features, green parallel. Oh, it doesn't say how rare they are. So, hmm, memorabilia. Well, anyway, oh, now can we, now let's see if we can just get an autograph. That would be amazing. All right, let's go through this one. We have Matt Hardy. We have Matt Hardy AW Magazine. I don't think there's anything, why is that one blue and the other one, you know what, I don't even know. We have the bunny. We have a limited edition MJF magazine. I wonder why, I don't know. Maybe it says that on there, all of them. Main features, Nick Jackson. Probably need to show this stuff on camera. Uh, AEW Magazine, Britt Baker. Miro, where is he, by the way? <laughs> and the Butcher and the Blade. Okay. Um, I think maybe... So is that some kind of special insert? Because it's gold instead of blue? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Um, yeah, I don't even. I don't even know. I'll wait until the end to go through everything. I guess. I. I don't know. I feel like holy crap. Fourteen and a half minutes have gone through three packs. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long video. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I'm. You know what? Whatever. Okay, there's the young bucks. Did I already pull the bucks? No, no, no. I did not. 
there's the young book so that's a that's a nice little pull powerhouse hobbs kip sabian so is this a parallel where it's gold here i don't know because most of them are blue there's a billy gun some kind of little starburst thing oh main features of sting very nice Anna J, AEW Magazine, John Moxley. I think these are just regular. I'm going to, well, whatever. And Frankie Kazarian. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, eight. Okay. I was like, eight, eight cards? Where's my eight? <laughs> I see a hangman. We have Alex Reynolds, Trent, Paul Turner, Colt Cabana. Yeah, I'm assuming this gold has to be some kind of insert. Upper Deck Canvas Best Friends. I know that's an insert. Main features Big Swole. Scorpio Sky and Hangman Page. Um, yeah, so I need to start. Mm, sorting out the gold ones, because I'm beginning to think that that is an insert. The bunny. CD. That's it, right? Yep, that's it. Okay. Um, I'm going to sort out these AW magazines too. And the main features. I'll get this. Whoa. Um, but um, bum. Okay. Hmm. And I'll get these regular magazines out of the way, too. Okay, and everything else special will go in that pile. Okay. And if you're wondering, yes, I could edit this video. No, I'm not going to. So that's just not what I do. No time. Hikaru Shida. AW Magazine, uh, Orange Cassidy. Chris Jericho. Another Orange Cassidy, this time a gold one. <laughs> um, okay, so I think this is just like the those. Yeah. Oh, there's an upper deck canvas of Sting. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, top rope, Mark Queen. Here's what the top back of a top rope looks like. Uh, Jurassic Express, cool, cool, and Ricky Starks. Let me get that sting in a sleeve. No, I know the canvases are not the hardest to find. That's already my second one in six packs, but it's the stinger. Gotta sleeve the stinger. All right, we have Chuck Taylor, EW Magazine, Lance Archer. Another, it's like they only bring him around when they want him to lose to the to a champ. I mean, okay, he did beat Mox one time, but that was just so he could lose it to Tanahashi. I mean, we have Taz, a gold variant. We have Joy Janella Sparkles. I don't know what to call it. Main features of Anna J. Brian Cage, okay, don't even get me started. Like, 
he was re-signed, but he's not being used. Not not a good look. Penelope Ford and Lance Archer. We have Brandy Rhodes and, gosh, the Rhodes, the, the hatred on them, that, that was insane. Like, I understand why he started getting, I mean, people said they were going Hollywood. Come on, they were there every single week. That's ignorant. And, um, and then, I mean, I can understand him getting booze when he was feuding with Black when Black first debuted. Sure, I would have been cheering for Black, too. Somebody else who is just being completely underutilized. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 hatred that was thrown their way is just baffling to me. Tony Schiavon. There's a gold variant of Chris Jericho. I might order to sleep that. There's main features of Matt Jackson and of Britt Baker. There's Riho. Hikaru Shida, Mark Queen. So it looks like we're halfway through, finally. <laughs> halfway through, 20 minutes in. Oh, there's the stinger at the back. All right, we have Darby Allen. Lucha Brothers. I mean, how about one of them goes for some singles gold? How about that? <laughs> Stu Grayson. Luchasaurus. He was on Big Brother. Oh, that's awesome. Main features, Brody Lee. Mm. Arn Anderson. Dustin Rhodes. And there's the AEW Magazine Sting. Rest in peace, man. Not, not Sting, Brody. I mean, you know if you're watching the video. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we have Santana, EW Magazine, Nyla Rose, Brandy Rhodes, Gold Variant. Oh, nice. We got a red variant of AEW Magazine, Kenny Omega. I am going to sleeve that. Not sure how rare the red variant is, but that's the first one I've seen, so. Uh, main features Chris Jericho, Jungle Boy, J.R. Abaddon. We have Cash Wheeler, Sammy Guevara, ruining his career, <laughs> Mr. Brody Lee Tribute, and there is the Brody Lee Magazine Gold variant, which I will put over here, Roads to Success. December 18th, 2019, finds tag team success with Darby Allen. Well, there's another two roads to success in the same pack. Now, how rare are these? May 23rd, 2020, he's crowned the inaugural TNT champion. I don't know how rare those are. I don't remember. Uh, Sean Spears and Best Friends. Well, let's see. Roads to, is, I hadn't pulled any, and then I pulled two. That's just a little... little weird, if you will. Alright, we have MJF. 
SCU. Someone on the back of that one. Nyla Rose. Tony Schiavon. Oh, there's a swirly of QT Marshall. Well, you know. Main features Scorpio Sky, AW Magazine, Darby, and Pack. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Last four packs Evil Uno, Tully Blanchard, Brian Cage. Is it supposed to look like that in the background? Oh, there's a cool one of a uh, a Brit Breaker, no Brit Baker, uh, swirly thingy. Uh, Frankie Kazarian main features Chris Statlander, Cody Rhodes, AEW Magazine regular version Kenny. I mean, I'm really hoping one of these last three packs I do get Kenny's um. Normal card. Let me sleeve that, uh, I guess. Only three packs left, guys. No crazy pulls here lately. No crazy pulls at all. Oh, that card is damaged. That's that sucks. We have Wardlow. AEW Magazine Nick. Santana. Upper deck canvas of Brandy. Main features Hangman Page. Inner Circle. Santana Ortiz. Nick Jackson, Jake Hager. All right, guys, two packs left. Two chances at an autograph. All right, we have Ray Phoenix and his magazine. Dax, gold variant of Private Party. Upper deck canvas of Big Swole. Ray Phoenix main features. Ortiz, Matt Jackson. All right, guys, this is it. Can we get some last pack magic? Probably not, but we shall try nonetheless. Let's hit it. Actually, let's take two from the back. Just to make it... Okay, fine. We'll take one from the back since we already saw who it was. John Silver. Push him. The Bunny. Colt Cabana. Taz. Gold variant of the Nyla Magazine. Rhodes to success. October 7th, 2020. Begins his second reign as TNT champion. Main features Brian Cage. And Cole Cabana, AEW Magazine. So, uh, gosh, we got some really cool stuff at first. Uh, so, let's see. We ended up with three roads to success. There they are. Those are just the normal magazines, right? Yeah. Okay, here's some gold. Here's all the gold variants I got. Let me see. Oh, wait. Didn't mean to put that there. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I could have swore I got more than that. But anyway, 13. Main features, how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So they're around one per pack. And let me sort this out.
Oh. Yeah, there's another gold variant. The one for Mr. Brody Lee. Um... Oh, there's another gold. Orange Cassidy, so that would make 15. Oh, there's another gold <laughs> of Nick. So I got some pretty cool cards. I did not get the regular version of Kenny. So that did disappoint me. But okay, let's see. Going through all of this. So we got our four canvases, which is what it said on the side of the box. We got Brandy, Big Swole, Best Friends, and Sting. Very cool. And then we got, how many of these swirly silvers? We got QT Marshall, Joy Janella, Billy Gunn, and Britt Baker. So we got four of those as well. Then we got two top ropes. We got Mark Queen and Riho. And we got this swirly silver AEW Magazine parallel of... Chris Jericho, and a red starburst, would you call it, of Kenny Omega. And then we got our main features, green parallel number to 199 of MJF, and this awesome beaut of a card, FTR memorabilia. One out of 25. Well, I was hoping we'd get at least one or the other. And this is a really, really cool one. Number to 25 and the first one printed. Very, very nice. Just have to be careful with these corners. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Do all that if you want to. Um, oh, jeez. I, I, I may eventually. There's another set coming out this summer sometime. Uh, so, I don't know. You know, if I can get some more of these at a good price, I will. Um, but, yeah, we'll just have to see. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Do all that if you want to. Be excellent to yourselves, dudes. Have a good one.